Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we got Zenitsu Thunderclap and Flash Sixfold. So it's like when he's got those glowing eyes and there's all like electricity around him. So we're on a landscape orientation page. You use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. So we're gonna start with his eyes. <clears throat> so those glowing big, big white eyes. So, yeah, let's go. So center, I'd say center point is about here, right? And that's probably eye line, right? The probably be where his top uh, eyelid line is gonna be across here, right? So we got like a big curving line coming up across, right? Like so. And of course you can thicken this up There might be like a couple of spikes back here. So like one there, and then maybe like another one sticking off here. Could do something like that at the front as well, but it's not 100% necessary. There just definitely is two at the back that I can see, like so. So his bottom eyelid line then, so it's kind of comes down to a V-like sort of shape down here. Like so. This can be a bit thicker. Like that, and there could be some like stress lines kind of around his eye, you know, because he's really flexing his powers. So his other eye, pretty much the exact same. So, well, it doesn't have to be the exact same. So it kind of curves up and over. Similar type of shape is all I'm saying. So it goes back. So and again, you can thicken it up. Add a couple of spikes coming off it. And if you're worried about how close together they are, don't worry about it. They're they're way too close. It's about half an eye distance over, you know. So it, they're not in proportion. That's so you don't really. About half an eye can fit inside between his eyes. Bottom eyelid then comes up, and again you could thicken it up. So, and add some stress around his eye, around his eyelid, like that. Like so, and there's nothing inside, so that makes it nice and easy for us. So, then his eyebrow, they're really close to his eyes, right? So they just go like up this way like so. so real sort of spiky here and they're bushy at the end with kind of this sort of line here and we've got some like texture lines on the end of them just there same on this side pretty much up this way Some of these go under hair, so probably won't see some of this. Hairlines like so. And you could have like a frown line or two, like what we can see anyway. So they're just coming from the end of his eyebrow that way. There, hatching lines. Give him an eyelid line across here, an eyelid line across there, and some like you know he's he's really tense, so like some wrinkles just around his nose. Just in there. 
So then his nose is just basically nostrils with some hatching on top. So right here, some nostrils. And then those Demon Slayer type noses are just like, got some hatching on top, that's it, like that. Just on top of the nostrils. So his mouth, just a kind of downturned sort of aggressive kind of mouth and you want to start like just on the inside of his eye like here just like that and then it's going to like curve over and down you could like put some extra weight on your pencil just at the corners just to show the corner of the mouth So then his bottom lip in Demon Slayer, they've got those sort of triangles underneath their lips, just there. All right, so then his chin, just down here, kind of a pointy sort of chin. Like so. Then you can check the proportions. So I, so I'd say top eyelid to his nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin, okay? And then sort of where his bottom lip is in here, in this gap to his nostrils is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So here to here, same as here to here. And then here to here, same as here to here, right? So that's the proportions you're going for. Once you get that, then you can kind of go up for his jaw on the side, just there. And then you're gonna change direction, go up the side of his face, just here. And we do the same on the other side. So we'll go up like so. And you're stopping just on the corner of his eyebrow. So his eyes are really big. So we're, we're gonna stop here, okay? That's where you change direction. Up the side of his face. And Demon Slayer, sometimes you can have these thicker kind of edge lines on the face. Sometimes. Depends. It's usually like an edge, an outside line. And we're going to give him a bit of blood coming down the corner of his mouth. I think there's like a spot of blood here as well. So that's normally red, but I've got marker here, so you could do it black. Like so. Okay, so his hair. So Zenitsu's hair is kind of tricky, being honest. So just at the top of his head up here, right? We start with square fringe area. So a straight line across, right? And then this comes in towards its head. The other side of this is here. Okay. Then we have an outside edge line just there for that. And at the end of each of these, you'll have like some lines like texture lines like this. Okay. And we've got four more that come across the front of his head, right? So comes down across his eyebrow across there up into there and of course you can erase these lines but we'll, we'll do the rest of the hair first so this comes down across his nose straight across so you'll notice like there's no curves really it's it's like angled so another line going that way and that'll meet the next one so that comes down like so just there again straight across the bottom and then this will go up right by his eyebrow the corner of his eyebrow and then up here turn and go in that way. 
This one I think will kind of turn and go in as well. There. So one, two, three, four, five. We need one more, so it kind of let's see, it kind of sticks out here. Goes down all the way to eye level, and then we bring it across. So change direction up to there. It's got like an outside edge. There. I think we'll change direction there. Into here. And another piece of hair sticking out the bottom down here. So another box like a piece of hair sticking out there. Like so. So again, these have like texture lines on them. And they're all straight lines. Oh, and I raised the eyebrow lines that you shouldn't be able to see. Okay, so, right, his hair is like being puffed out, it's been like blown out, right, so, more going around the top of his head, okay. Again, square kind of shapes, we can see, we can see an ear here, curving around, and then we do the rest of his hair on this side. Curve line for his ear, the ear on the other side is like half under hair, I guess we'll do that as well. So bones and ligaments on the inside, just there. And then the other ear, what we can see of it, just here. Like so. So the line inside there. Uh, right, so the rest of that hair, the rest of that tricky, tricky hair. So we got another box. Again, yeah, you can thicken up some of the edge of the outer hair. Like that. So, and then another one meets another one here, which goes back that way. And back that, this way. And this kind of comes up a bit further and nearly curves yeah it curves around into a shadow or something up here and like this one goes back a lot of the hair goes back towards a point in the middle of his head and again texture lines on the this is like the dark orange section of his head all right so next one out up this way back in to there bump, you can thicken up the edge lines, and then one sort of sticking out back here. So normally his hair is like floppy, sort of down, right? but because he's like charging, this hair is kind of pushed up. Less talking, more drawing, got it. Hair sticking out there. Okay. And then we've got like a lonely piece of hair sticking up on his own back here. All right, so then we got like two bumps. Bump like this. Another one at the back like so. You can thicken them up. line going into here and 
texture lines on the end. These as well. Nearly there. So just a couple more on this side, right? So we go down. This kind of sticks up, it goes down like that. Thicken up the edge. And then this goes down and in, back into there. Then we have another bit that sticks down. Out. Back in. Down. Back in. Up to there. And then with hair. Just coming from behind his ear a little bit, I think, yeah. Just one more. So, so I think I'll leave it there. That's enough for his hair. So, just some lines going back that way. I think there's like a dark black shadow there, but. colored in more than anything right so he's got a collar just underneath his chin so it comes down underneath like this it's the white collar of his demon slayer uniform and it comes down to like a point down here then we have a middle line just here and it comes across the top kind of just copy in the line you did before And then this could have, I think, like edge lines down here or something. Like so, right, so then the where that collar sort of comes in here and meets the outside of his yellow uniform. So this comes down like so. Is it kimono? Is it a kimono? I think so. So that comes down in there, and this one kicks down this way. It's kind of going off to the side. Then you've got a straight line going down, a button, just like an oval. Then he's wearing a pocket. He's wearing a pocket, how do you wear a pocket? He has a pocket on his clothes. <laughs> just there, a white one. And he's sort of hunched over, right? And he's grabbing his sword down here, which we cannot see, but we can see his shoulder. So, um, shoulder, where is his shoulder? I think it comes out this way. Like that. He's kind of hunched over, and then this kind of bends around like that. Then we have some fold lines, so, fold line there. It's sort of the seam of his kimono, just coming over, bumping over his arm there. And th these have all like triangles and things on them, but we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll just try and get his other shoulder done. So his other shoulder comes out up here. And then come down this way kind of a fold line for his elbow or his sleeve or something sticks out here. And then this goes off, down off my page. Triangle, yeah, curves down that way. Maybe another bump there. So there should be like a fold line there.
Another seam or fold line here. So all those triangles, oh, there's a bit more hair behind his ear over here, I missed that. And then loads of those triangles on his clothing. One there. Another one kind of here. And they can be curvy sort of in the direction that his clothes are going. Like so. And kind of half triangles on the edges, you know, because you can't see them all. Okay, so we gotta add some some of his cloak actually on coming out from the back. So kind of comes out, it's kind of flowing out this way. Kind of waving sort of line just there, and this of course has triangles on it as well. So. Okay, so uh, lightning, so you can kind of add like, we're gonna add just two streaks of lightning coming up here. And like Demon Slayer, they did sort of an unusual thing. They did like thick lightning. <laughs> like it's not like lightning you see normally. It's got like, um, it's like, they're like lightsabers. It's the only way I can kind of describe it. We're kind of waving, so. Let's go, just let's add a sort of a waving, snaking sort of line. Up and off the page, it's kind of skinnier on the bottom of it than it is on the top. And it's a bumping kind of line. And real thick on the edge. That's common in Demon Slayer. Even the lightning has a thick edge line. And then coming up this side as well. So let's just go across his shoulder and down. Okay, this side as well. That, and we just double it up, thicken up the edge. And of course, you can thicken up some of the edge of Zenitsu as well, like the, his cloak here on the edge of the character. 
which is common Demon Slayer style. Or not, it's optional, of course. But I think I'll have to leave it there, guys. There it is. Zenitsu, Thunderclap, and Flap. Oh, thunderclap, Thunder. <laughs> Sixfold. <laughs> uh, hope it was helpful. I can't talk. See you in the next one. Bye.